Hello everybody, this is Iron Lantern here. Uh, just bringing you a, uh, I just want to say, package toy haul and possible custom uh, review. Um, just letting you guys know, I uh, just received this package today. It is the Revel Tech Iron Man, number 24 in the series. I'm really digging this. I already opened them up. I'll uh, start playing around with them a little bit. It looks sick. I'll show you guys. Like out of the package, I guess. Well, what the package opened up, you can see them in the background. There, I'll move these guys out of the way. Um, all right, there we go. Uh, already opened them up. Started playing around with them. Sick as anything. Taller than expected for a uh, Rebel Tech figure. Because uh, I got the uh, Rebel Tech uh, Rodimus Prime. Um, and he's like a three and three quarters inch. That's why when I saw this on the um, on the computer, I was like, on the internet, I was like, wow, okay, you know, I'm about to get me a uh, super like a super posable Iron Man. But um, kind of fun. Now he's like just uh, slightly a little bit shorter than the um, six inch movie Iron Man two movie figures. Just slightly uh, like a little bit smaller. Uh, I'll do size comparisons later on when I do a review on them. But sick figure, sick uh, sick accessories. Um, but one question that I do have, if anybody could answer for me, is what is this? Apparently it's a coin. Uh, it's a sci-fi rebel tech coin uh, for 10 points. Um, if you guys know what you got, what you can do with that, just let me know. I don't know what, what to do. But these figures right here, like the uh, Stealth Iron Man, Dum Dum Dugan. These guys keep on falling on me. Um, Maria Hill and Iceman. I went to a flea market this past weekend and I got them uh, for a very, 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 very cheap price. Um, pretty much this whole handful. Um, I got them for, believe it or not, seven bucks. This dude was like, uh, he didn't know, he doesn't know anything about action figures at all. Uh, he says he's into like the whole uh, comic book scene, stickers and stuff like that. But he said, uh, yeah, he he thinks that action figures are not selling, and that's why he he just wanted to get rid of them. I'm like, wow, okay, you know, like I'm thinking to myself, like, wow, you completely oblivious, man, because you know these are the number one sought after figures, man. Uh, I'm actually glad to get him. Finally got him. I missed out my chance on him. I don't have the accessories, nothing like that with him. Uh, Maria Hill, I'm actually getting her again. Uh, the one I had, I actually got rid of. Um, I just don't have the uh, Sharon, um, the Sharon head. <laughs> I was say it like that, I forget her last name. But I just don't have that head. But I do get the weapons for them and stuff. So she's complete with the weapons stuff for the head. So I'll be doing a review on her. Stealth Iron Man. Uh, I'm glad I got him. I'm a big Iron Man fan, uh, so I got him. I just don't have the spare hands or the head. Just got him just like this. So so far, that that's that's okay with me. Uh, then Dum Dum Dugan, I got him. No spare um like no spare head. Um, he did come with the gun and with the knife, which I don't think it's the right knife because it doesn't fit in. But I don't know if that will do for now. I guess, but um, yeah. Got that, and then since I did say custom in the beginning, I will do this, and um, I'm gonna do this for my brother. My brother's actually at work right now, but my brother just received in the mail. Funny story behind this is that um, he ordered this cast of the DC Direct Sinestro uh, a while ago. I want to say probably like two months ago, and apparently something happened that it didn't didn't charge us. Um, some some crazy st story, and he just got it in the mail just yesterday. But a little sneak preview of what this figure is gonna look like. My brother's using one of the um, the two um, one of the two different like mash low bodies, the extra body that we had because we bought two like three of the three of these guys so far. But um, yeah, we're using that with um, um, hands that he's painted on already because he's used a different Sinestro head already. But once this um, this head sculpt is uh, completely painted. We'll do a review and size comparison and all that with him. 
uh, so far, you know, just squinting my eyes, I can see what he's going to look like, and he's going to look sick, uh, which I'm, I'm kind of pissed off that they, you know, DC, you know, Mattel, DC Universe Classics, they, they haven't come out with a Sinestro head that looks like this or something like this, because this head is just more menacing than the one that came out. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking their work up because they, they do an awesome job, but, you know, this is more accurate to, um, the, the Blackest Night, you know, saga thing going on right now, so, um, once, uh, that's painted, we'll do a review on him, I'll be doing reviews on one, each one of these guys, I'm sorry guys, I've been, uh, slacking with the reviews, and like I said, me and my brother, would just actually moved out right now, uh, like, two, three weeks ago, right, yeah, uh, two, Three, three, three weeks ago we moved out I, my last review was the uh, titanium man but um yeah I'm gonna start doing reviews again uh, my brother is gonna start doing his own thing right now I'm actually working on a uh, hall of armors for my uh, three and three quarters inch Iron Man's that I have I just went out to the store today and I found some things that I uh, could possibly use for that so hopefully I'll be doing a review on a, on a display that I, that I you know that I want <clears throat> that I want to set up uh, I've been going back and forth with Book Nice Ten. Um, good dude to talk to. I haven't met him in person, nothing like that. But he's a good dude. He's actually one of my inspirations. On you know, doing all this stuff that I'm doing. I mean, uh, I've been collecting for years, but I just like when I started watching their videos. Like, like I said, Book Nice Ten, um, uh, Sean Long, um, Charms Prime, Century. Uh, Country Productions, you know, I've seen their videos and doing reviews and stuff, and their displays and stuff. I mean, if I forget to name people, then I'm sorry, you know, I just don't, don't know a lot of people yet. I'm going to try to put myself out there, hopefully, but, you know, they, they've been, they all been an inspiration for me, man, to do this, me and my brother. So, hopefully we'll do, you know, hopefully we could please the uh, YouTube Marvel Legends or DC Universe Classic community or whatever. Um, hopefully we could please them, man. Uh, that's all we want to do, basically, just put out there and just be, uh, just, just trying to be ourselves, you know, trying to be glad that there's, it's not just us being, you know, action figure collectors or nothing like that, you know. Um, so, hopefully, you know, we, we, we'll meet, you know, we'll meet with a couple of these guys in person sometime, you know. So, hopefully, hopefully it'll work out like that, but... Also, another thing, I apologize on my last video of the time. See, anyway, I did not sound too enthusiastic. I was sick, tired, everything possible. I was sick, tired, and exhausted from work. And now, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably do, do a uh, redo on him just because, like, I, I was super excited on getting the figure. It sounded like I wasn't, but I really was, you know. So, like, uh, you know, like what, I, how basically how I sound now. So. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this review, you know, this toy haul slash custom, you know, working on, whatever you want to call it. But um, I'll be doing reviews on each one of these guys, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe and hit me up. Peace.